Hello, everyone. Take a look. Here's uh, last week's sermon. Uh, we had it all up here, all the slides, uh, pre-loop, <clears throat> all of Robbie's stuff. The announcements look good. Uh, this was from Heather. Uh, these all got uh, individual JPEGged, but at least they're in large format, not media files, so we can see them. Um, <clears throat> we're still trying to fix that so we can import them as PowerPoints. But moving on, uh, this is a full service, all the way down to the very end prayer slide. Um, check this out. We're going to take this, we're going to duplicate. Um, I'm going to preset this for next week. I have to look at my calendar. Uh, next week would be the 12th, so we do that, the 12th. Okay, boom, now I've got next week's. What we can do is we can then delete out these two songs. We can delete out these four songs. Now we've got a pre-loop at the very beginning. We have announcement slides that'll most likely need to be updated or changed, but you've got a placeholder for it. You have a sermon that is kind of a placeholder. What we'll do is we won't delete this part of the, um, sorry, this part of the sermon. We'll delete each individual slide. If you hold shift, click on the last one and the first one, and hit delete, boom. Now it still holds a spot for where you can drop the sermon slides in. That'll allow it to be kind of viewable like this in a big format rather than uh, long and skinny with a little play button on it. Um, and then boom, we drop in the worship set down there. There we go. Now you've got next week's sermon all ready to go. Have fun. Bye.